One of my favourite books growing up was Roald Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now, as well as being a fantastic book, it's been made into a few movies as well. Now, in 1971, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory brought Dahl's wonderful characters to the big screen for the very first time. But remember this spoilt little brat? Hey, Daddy, I want an Oompa Loompa. I want you to get me an Oompa Loompa right away. All right, Ruka, all right. I'll get you one before the day is out. I want an Oompa Loompa now. Can it, you nit? Mm. <laughs> That's telling her. Well, please welcome on the satellite from London the spoiled little rich girl herself, Veruca Salt, also known as Julie Dawn Cole. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Now, rumour has it those Oompa Loompas weren't as innocent as everyone thought. No, they weren't. They were known to throw a wild party, but we were only kids, so <laughs> we weren't allowed to attend any of them. But, um, yeah, they were, there were a few rumours when they went missing and were late in. And uh, uh, there is a, a red light district in Munich, which I think they visited on occasions. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go any further down that path. No, no. And also... How can I put this delicately? Um, you're turning 13. You yes, were going through. Yes, I know what you're going to ask. Ah, yes. Puberty, and you were going through some uh, physical changes as well. How did that? Yes. How did they cope on the well, with that? Well, it's a very delicate subject mm. because, as any lady knows, you know that you kind of get proud of things that start happening, but um, it doesn't match continuity. So, you know, at the end, uh, the beginning of the film, I'm fairly flat-chested, and by the end. I wasn't quite so flat-chested, but I do remember having this terrible discussion in front of the producers when they're all going, oh, can you see them? No, I can't see them. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Oh. Absolutely dying. Tell us about some of the other actors that you were with, the other child actors on the film and, and what they're doing. Did you stay in touch, of course, Charlie Bucket and, and Mike TV and Violet? Uh, Violet Beauregard, Denise Nickerson, lives in uh, Colorado somewhere and she works as a, a manager of an engineering plant. Augustus Gloop is a tax accountant in Munich, and Charlie Bucket is a large animal veterinarian in upstate New York. Wow, what a, wow. What a range of things they went into. But, yeah. but also, yeah. what was it like working with the, with the comic genius of, of Gene Wilder? Absolutely magical. I mean, he was marvellous. Uh, he was very patient, because you can imagine being on a set surrounded by kids all the time. It could have been a bit an annoying. I'm sure we were annoying. But he was marvellous to us all and used to sort of sit and tell us stories and Jean was marvellous. And you're a mum, you've got two kids, what do they think of the movie? Well there was a bit of confusion when my daughter was small because she went into school at sort of show and tell days and, and told her teacher that when my mummy was little my mummy was very spoilt and got everything she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't go down too well, but anyway, they, 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 kind of, they kind of think it's a bit cool now, especially when it impresses their friends. Now, of course, the movie has been redone recently with, with Johnny Depp. What do you think of... Mm -hmm. How did it go? What do you think of that, that version of it? I wanted to like it. I wanted to like it more than I did, but, mm, I don't know, there's an old saying, isn't there? If it isn't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. I'm with you. I couldn't see it. I didn't want to ruin the original for myself, so <laughs> that's OK. Good for yes, you. Good absolutely. For you. <laughs> I'm sure Johnny Depp's wonderful, but... Do you, um, do you have any souvenirs yeah. from, the, from the film? Did you keep any trinkets? Well, I did have. I did have. And I did keep uh, a golden ticket and an everlasting gobstopper. But um, I was made an offer I couldn't refuse, and I sold them. Oh, how much? <laughs> um, yeah, enough to uh, take my two children and myself on a very nice holiday. Oh, mm. OK. <laughs> Say no more, but right. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and tell us, um, tell us what you're doing now. I am still acting. I've just done a comedy drama pilot for the BBC, um, which you may get over there, I hope you do, with Sarah Lancashire called Angel Cake. And I'm also a contributor on our daytime show called This Morning, and I'm a fitness presenter. Well, you've got a very, very full life, and uh, thank you for joining us tonight. You have made you. my co-host yep. night. She's a huge fan <laughs> of yours and the movie. So thank you again, oh, ladies and gentlemen. You. Please thank Julie Dawn Cole.